Good evening, my dear friends, and welcome to Evening Prayer on this Thursday evening. It is good to have your company at this table of love. And we begin our evening prayer by lighting a candle for peace. In the name of our beloved Father, Mother, God Supreme, who creates life in the name of the risen cosmic Christ who loves life, in the name of the Spirit who is the fire of life, and in the name of Gaia, our beloved Earth Mother, who nurtures the divine in all life, and in the name of spiritual diversity, we welcome all the children of God, of all faiths and none. And we begin our evening prayer with the prologue of our brother and sister Racines of Mount Sinai. We enter the eternal and infinite garden with reverence to the heavenly Father, Mother, God, the earthly Mother and all the great Masters, and reverence to the holy, pure and saving teaching and reverence to the brotherhood and sisterhood of the elect. Let us just reflect for a moment as we connect with our brother and sister Essenes of Mount Sinai. On Thursday evening, interestingly, we commune with the angel of wisdom saying, angel of wisdom, Descend upon my thinking body and enlighten all my thoughts. Superior currents of thought are then sent and attracted by the thinking body, while the individual contemplates all thought on earth and in the cosmic ocean of thought. In the stillness of this moment, let us be mindful of the children of God, our brothers and sisters, who are hungry, homeless, who are starving, who are caught up in violence, who are deeply unloved and unhappy. For some, they may be suicidal. For some, they may be recovering from chemotherapy and feeling deeply down and despondent. Let us be mindful that there are others outside of us, away from where we are, who are in need of a simple act of kindness. So let us share the love we have with them by sending them a blessing of love. And coming to our little book of Celtic prayers from my owner, we read this evening, If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me, and the light around me become night. Even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day, for darkness is as light to you. Let us be still and aware of God's presence within and all around us. And our opening prayer. I am bending my knee in the eye of the God who created me, in the eye of the Son who died for me, in the eye of the Spirit who moves me in love and in desire for the many gifts you have bestowed upon me each day and each night, each sea and land, each weather fair, each calm, each wild, thanks be to you, O God. And I found this beautiful little book on the internet second hand called Interfaith Resources, a book of comfort and healing Please allow me share with you some of the beautiful prayers. I lift up my eyes to the hills. 
Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. Indeed, he who watches over you will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. That was a Judaic prayer. And now we have a prayer from Islam. I answered the prayer of the suppliant when he crieth unto me. So let them hear my call, and let them trust in me, in order that they may be led aright. And we have a Christian prayer. Come to me, all who labour and are heavily laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden light. And the Baha'i faith share with us a beautiful prayer too. O thou who are turning thy face toward God, close thine eyes to all things else and open them to the realm of the all-glorious. Ask whatever thou wishest of him alone. Seek whatsoever thou seekest from him alone. With a look he granteth a hundred thousand hopes. With a glance he healeth a hundred thousand incurable ills. With a glimpse he layeth balm on every wound. And with a nod he freeth the hearts from the shackles of grief. And our brother and sister Sikhs share with us a prayer. Night and day meditate in remembrance on the one who will be your help and support in the end. And we have a Hindu prayer. The Lord who is self-reliant and self-radiant existed even before the creation of the universe. He is the only blissful master of the world. He sustains the earth, the sun and moon and all the planets. We adore him with fervent devotion. And there are many more, but we'll save the rest for another evening. Let us come to this table of love and let us just reflect on not what we are thinking but on what we are sensing in the silence of our heart, our greatest teacher. As we join with each other, we form a circle of light a church, a cathedral without walls, where love dwelleth here. Let us now invite, invoke, and call upon the spirits of light, those beautiful beings of love, the messengers of God. Let us call on our guides, and let us listen in the stillness of this sacred moment to what they are saying to us. And with each breath we breathe in, we breathe in the very essence of divine love. And I share with you now Psalm 93, verse 2. Your throne, O Lord, has been established from time immemorial. You yourself are from the everlasting past. Can you imagine 
what it would be like to live outside of time and space. God is eternal and lives like that. He has no beginning and no end, and he is and always has been forever. Living outside of time, nothing surprises him and nothing hinders him. His name is I am that I am. We find God's eternality a tremendous comfort. Our lives are measured by minutes, days and years. The older you get, the more you feel like you're on a countdown. It's depressing for most of the world. But life for one who believes is not fading. It's unfolding because we are sharing in God's life, eternal life, and we are living forever. We will never die, said St. John, knowing God the source of underived life gives us assurance that when we step into eternity, we are stepping into God. Let us just reflect on those words as we come now. And we read a beautiful reflection from the great Mahatma Gandhi. A no uttered from the deepest conviction is better than a yes, merely uttered to please, or worse, to avoid trouble. A coward is incapable of exhibiting love. It is the prerogative of the brave. A man is but the product of his thoughts, what he thinks he becomes. A man who was completely innocent offered himself as a sacrifice for the good of others, including his enemies, and became the ransom of the world. It was a perfect act. A nation's culture resides in the hearts and in the soul of its people. A policy is a temporary creed liable to be changed, but while it holds good, it has got to be pursued with apostolic zeal. A principle is the expression of perfection and is imperfect being like us cannot practice. A religion that takes no account of practical affairs and does not help to solve them is no religion. The great Mahatma Gandhi. Let us be still. Breathe on us, O breath of God. Fill us with life anew, that we may love what thou dost love and do what thou wouldst do. Breathe on all gathered here. Breathe on the children of God of all faiths and none. Breathe on them your love and allow them receive the gifts from our hearts. And now we come to our evening intercessions. But first we read the intercessions from the little Celtic prayers of Iona for this Thursday evening. And they read, O oh God, I place myself with those who struggle this night. I am here in need. I am here in pain. I am here alone. O oh God, help me. We recall the events of the day and pray for those who are suffering. We pray this evening for all the troubles that are currently causing great disquiet for the whole family of man, from man's inhumanity to man. We pray for an end to violence, 
and in the words of the great Buddha Dampada, hate is not overcome by hate. Hate is overcome by love. And for me, God is love. So let us bring to this table of love those whom we know who may be hurting at this time, those who are searching for a meaning to their living life, to those who are locked in a mindset of fear, to those who are battling with intractable pain, for those who may be dying in prison on death's row, for young people caught up in violent crime, for those engaged in full-time ministry, be they an imam, a Buddhist, monk or nun, a priest, a religious, a member of our community, a rabbi. It doesn't really matter what or who we are. What matters is that our hearts are filled with the love of all that is sacred to us and that instead of talking the walk, we walk the talk in love. We pray now for those who have no one to pray for them, for those who may be suicidal at this time. We pray for all politicians that they act honourably and justly for those they represent. And we pray for all religious leaders that they will make determined efforts to unite as one voice and support the whole family of God and bringing all our requests together let us infuse them with our love and we present them to the Most High as we say the beautiful prayer that Jesus the Cosmic Christ gave to us our Father Mother God hallowed be your name your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us the times when we have failed each other and ourselves, for the times when we lost hope, when we procrastinated, when we found it hard to forgive, Help us to forgive those who have wronged us and lead us not astray, but protect us from the forces of darkness. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. And our concluding prayer is from the Book of Prayers from my own hand. O oh Christ, you are a bright flame before me. You are a guiding star above me. You are the light and love I see in others' eyes. Keep me, O oh Cosmic Christ, in a love that is tender. Keep me, O oh Cosmic Christ, in a love that is true. Keep me, O oh Cosmic Christ, in a love that is strong, tonight, tomorrow, and always. And that, my dear friends, brings us to the end of our evening prayer for this Thursday. And I thank you from my heart for joining us. Namaste. Shalom. Inshallah, Paxet Bonum. Om Shanti, Solo di Caritas, Salam Alaikum, and may the peace of our God Goddess empower our heart to surrender all that there is to love. 
take care. And I hope that you can join Judy from Birmingham, Alabama in the U.S. on Doves for Peace this evening at 8 o'clock or 2 o'clock Alabama time or 3 o'clock Eastern time. Take care and God bless you.